Hey Divine Ones and happy Sunday. It's Jerome Braggs coming to you with another live. Um, today we're going to do a little bit different. I won't be teaching as much today as much as walking you through a practice. So I have um, heard from a lot of you all who sent me messages um, who are saying you know that the past few videos that I've been doing have been helping you, have been helping you really understand what's really going on from a deeper perspective, have helped you kind of soothe your fears a bit, have helped you really stay, uh, have helped you kind of ground more in your truth. And I just want to do more and more of that. So I'm trying to help you, uh, whatever I put out from, from this space uh, in the next few days or so, is really trying to help you ground more in the truth, really return your energy to the energy of love, soothe and release whatever fear you have, and today is going to be another another thing for that. So today, I really want to walk you through uh, a meditation practice that I do personally whenever um, situations happen in my life that make me afraid um, so that I can release and soothe that fear from my energy field. And, um, you know, one of the things, just really quickly, one of the things to understand is no matter how much of the truth you understand, no matter how far along on your spiritual journey you are, no matter how elevated you may be, no matter how high vibration you are, it's not that fear you'll never fear again. It's not that fear won't ever come into your system because fear is a part of the human experience. It is just that you won't live in fear. You won't be fearful and you won't make your decisions from fear and you won't take actions from fear. And that's really what you want. It's not that you'll never have a feel for thought again. It's that that fearful thought does not stay in your system and saturate your energy field to the point where you're making decisions based upon fear and you're living from fear. By the way, if you hear, you know, I'm in a new spot today doing this video. So if you hear my dog more, which you probably do right now, she's barking. <laughs> it's because I'm closer to where she is. Uh, she's outside right now and I'm, I'm in a place that's closer to the door that's outside. So you'll probably be able to hear her when she's having a fit out there. <laughs> so um, in any case, um, good morning. Well, good afternoon to many of you all. It may be morning where you are, um, but it's afternoon where I am. And today, we're, I'm just going to lead you through a little meditation exercise to help you um, soothe your fear. This is one, again, that I do myself. It has been um, profoundly uh, effective and powerful for me. And one of the reasons why you want to release fear, you know, I've talked about this in the previous videos we've done uh, since all this start, stuff started happening. But the reason you want to, there are several reasons why you want to soothe and release the fear out of your energy. One, because fear disconnects you from the energy of your soul and you cannot have the energy. The energy of your soul and the energy of fear can't exist in the same place at the same time. So if you're afraid, you are withholding yourself from your soul's energy and you can't. And your soul's energy is literally the energy is literally the source of well-being. So everything in your life can't work well and everything in your body can't stay healthy when you're continuing to hold a vibration of fear in your energy field. So that's one of the reasons why you want to release it. Now, it's not one of the reasons why you want to fight it again. So it's the way to heal fear is not to fight it. You know, you don't fight fear because fear in and of itself is not an evil thing. Um, it's very much like, you know, I, I talked about in the video before um, with a child. If you're having a child who's having a nightmare, you don't shame the child. You don't fight the child. You don't fight the nightmare either. What you do is you soothe that child. You, un you let the child know you understand. You soothe his fears. And when it's soothed, then you can remind it of what's true and what's actually real. And that's kind of how we want to do with fear. You want to allow fear to have a space so that it can pass through you. It's meant to pass through you so you can feel a higher vibration. It's not meant to be something that stays and that lingers for a long time. It can visit. It just can't stay. And that's the that's kind of the approach that we want to take here, you know, and this is helping you, you know, let fear um, end its visit <laughs> for a minute. So, again, and that's one of the reasons. Another reason is fear is a manifest is a manifestive manifestive energy, meaning it manifests things just like love is a manifest energy. Love manifests things that are in alignment and that affirm well-being. Fear manifests things in your life and in your body that don't affirm and aren't in alignment with well-being, that aren't the things that feel good. 
and you want to feel good. You want the things that you know affirm your well-being, that you know make you that 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 support your delicious and thriving life. And the longer you hold fear in your system, the longer you're not going to be able to do that. So we want to release fear. And also the other part, the last part of why we want to release fear from our system is because we are all connected. We are all connected energetically. We are all one. So if there is fear in my system, it is supporting and it is influencing fear in your system as well. And if there is fear in your system, it is supporting and influencing fear being in my system and fear being in the collective of humanity. And if fear is in the collective of humanity, and if it stays there, it creates, it manifests, right? Just going back to what we were just talking about, fear is a manifest of energy. It manifests. And so if it's in all of us that it's going to manifest something, which is part of what this situation is about that we're in right now. So healing fear in me heals, heals fear in the collective. Healing the one heals the whole. When we're all collect, when we're all connected, what I heal in me, I also help you heal in you, and I also help humanity heal in itself. So I'm going to give this particular meditation that we're about to get into right now um, as as an effort to really help you heal the fear that is within you, so that we can heal the fear in humanity as a whole. Especially when many of us do this at once. Right, so that we can heal uh, the fear as humanity as whole, so we can shift this situation. This situation can shift very quickly, just like it came up almost out of nowhere. Healing can come up, up almost out of nowhere once we do the work and once we give the space for healing to happen. So, um, I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of the things you want to get in a uh, in a kind of comfortable space when you're doing this meditation. You don't just have to do this meditation, by the way, today. You can do this meditation. Um, several times a day. You can do it, you know, all week. You can do it for months at a time if you want to. I literally do this meditation or some some version of this meditation anytime fear arises in my system. So you want to get comfortable <clears throat> and be in a comfortable space. And just, you know, well, anytime I like to meditate, I like to, you know, loosen up my shoulders a little bit before I go in because a lot of times we can carry uh, fear in form of stress. And that stress will manifest in our shoulders. So I kind of just want to loosen my shoulders up a little bit. Roll my head around. <laughs> hey, all of you all who are joining, I see all of you all from all over the world here. Um, and then what you're going to hear, by the way, so you don't get surprised, you're going to hear me playing some of my Tibetan singing bowls. I have two here. They are two different tones. So you're going to hear these bowls being played uh, throughout the meditation. I don't have music to play today, so we're just going to have some singing bowls to be playing. Um, so I want you to, um, and there's going to be several steps in this meditation, so just follow along. So I just want you to close your eyes and to start taking in some deep breaths. Slow and deep, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just a few more breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Slowly breathing in and out, feeling your body settle into wherever you are, whether you're sitting down or laying down, whether you're in your home or in someone else's home, just feel your body relaxing. And as you're taking deeper and deeper breaths, I want you to imagine that your feet, placing them firm on the ground wherever you are, that your feet all of a sudden 
almost like they grow roots. They go deep into the earth and kind of ground you there. Very comfortably. Just roots going down into the earth and grounding you on this planet. Continue to breathe as you feel these roots down in the ground. There's an increased feeling of being supported by the planet. Breathing in. And as you have these roots in the planet, I want you to imagine that the planet, that the earth, right up out of the dirt, is sending these loving roots up towards you. And they are wrapping around your leg very comfortably, around your legs, around your stomach, up over your shoulders and chest and arms and you're being held in a very loving embrace by the earth. And as you are being held by these roots, I want you to take a deep breath in and mentally say to yourself, I am safe. <laughs> Breathing in, Feeling the roots around your body, loving you, holding you, protecting you from anything externally. They form almost a shield around you, holding you as you breathe in the words, I am safe. Now, as you're feeling these roots around you, taking deep breaths in slowly, feeling your body relax. We are now ready to do the work of releasing fear from your energy field. We're gonna call in the help of your guides, your loved ones in spirit, your soul family, your ancestors, your master teachers, and all the loving energy that loves you to help you and be present now in this work. And I want you to imagine as you're standing in this loving embrace, being rooted in the earth and being held by it in a safe embrace. I want to imagine there's a circle being formed around you by your angels. You can imagine any loved one you've had that has transitioned over into spirit in this circle. You can imagine any of the master teachers that you love that are in spirit. For me, it's Maya Angelou, Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi. You can imagine any family members, any friends who have crossed over. They're all surrounding you in a very loving, loving circle. Keep breathing in and out. I am safe. And I want you to imagine that every being in this circle around you is holding something in their hands. It almost looks like a mesh net, like a flat mesh net, almost like a small screen door, if you will, that they're holding in their hands. And it's made completely of light. And it's pulsing, it's like vibrating, like an energy. You can feel it from where you're sitting. It has a handle, and at the end of it is this screen made of light 
the light is warm. It's not hot. It's like a warm light vibrating high energy. Every person in this circle around you has this screen in their hands. And they're smiling at you and you can feel the love from this circle. And what they're going to do with this screen is one by one, they're going to put this screen starting from the top of your head and slowly bring this screen all the way down over your body. And as they pass this screen one by one over your head, this screen is the screen of divine love. And as it passes over you, it filters out all fears in your thoughts, any stresses you may be having in your body, any fears you may be having in your shoulders, any fears you may be holding in your gut, any stresses you may be having anywhere in your body, in your legs, they pass it from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. And when they pass that screen over you, slowly, slowly making sure it's filtering, you can feel your vibration raising. You can feel the fears releasing from your system as you're being lovingly held from by the earth, lovingly grounded in the earth. And your loving spirit team is filtering the fear out of your body. As, it, as this screen passes through you, you can feel the vibration of it, raising your very vibration. You can feel the warmth of the light passing through all of your organs, all of your cells, healing you as it passes. You can see it catching any fears, some you may not have even known that you had, as it's going through you, passing down over your shoulders, over your chest, over your stomach, over your hips, over your legs, down to your feet. And when that first screen gets down to your feet, imagine whatever is caught going down those roots that you have in your legs, into the earth, into the core of the earth, where the earth's core burns it burns all of those fears, burns all of that energy that's no longer part of you, that you no longer serves you, and recycles it with this loving fire for good for the entire planet. Imagine each person in your loving spirit circle is passing their vibrational love light screen over you one by one. As each screen passes over you, it's filtering out fears and you're becoming lighter. You're becoming happier. And as they pass the screens over you, affirm all is well. I am safe. All is well. Breathing is nothing you have to do to make these screens pass. Your loving spirit team is doing this all on their own and you're just reaping the benefits. Breathing in, relaxing, letting all fear be released from your system. As every net passes over you, as every screen filters out what no longer serves you in your thoughts first and in your energy body second, feel yourself getting lighter and more relaxed. Feel how all the stresses in your body just seem to melt away as the screen passes down and down 
and then out of your body and into the, into the core of the earth. Feel how the love in this circle is expanding. Feel how safe you are being held by the roots in the earth. All is well and I am safe. And as you get to the last person in your spirit team who passes the last screen, you can see how cleaner this screen is, how so much fear has been released that now it's just light pouring through your system. And this screen, as it pours over you, it raises the vibration of every organ in your body. It raises the vibration of your thoughts and it just imbues your entire, fills your entire system with light. As you breathe in, you're breathing in this light. As you exhale, you're exhaling any fears, anything that's not part of this light that needs to leave. And as the last green passes over your stomach, down your hips, over your thighs, down your calves, over your feet and out of your body, down the roots, down to the core of the earth, you have been healed. And you look at your spirit team and say, thank you. Now lovingly see the roots of the earth surrounding your body beginning to just rescind and going back down into the earth. See your own roots that were coming from your feet down into the earth coming back into you. You are now back in your body and you are feeling the high vibration of this exercise. And it is this vibration and filled with light that is your very protection. This is your wellness. You have nothing to fear. This vibration is health and you have released fear from your system. Take a deep breath in, and when you're ready, open your eyes. How was that, you all? <laughs> that is a meditation that I do whenever I am afraid and want to release and soothe the fears from my system. It helps me remember that I'm not alone. It helps me feel the very energy of light and love filling my system and feeling the fear leave my system. And I always feel lighter and held and safer after I do this exercise. If you're still on, leave me a comment here and let me know how this felt for you. I love to, to see and maybe share that with others. Um, but again, you guys, you can do this. You, this is, uh, you know, there will be a replay of this video if you missed it or if you didn't come in, uh, if you came in later. Or if you just, you know, so that you can go back and listen to this. And if you want to keep doing this, um, you know, many times throughout the week, you can re-listen to this replay and re-listen to this meditation and practice it. It's great to use if you have music. I usually have music, but I didn't have it queued up today. So we were using the uh, Tibetan singing bowls. Uh, that also assist in raising your vibration. That's why I was playing those. The, the tone of the bowls is a higher vibration that, that vibrates highly in, in your body. 
Uh, there's been a lot of studies that have shown sound and how sound assists in the healing of our energy. So I wanted to do that. Uh, some of you are saying it was much needed. Uh, and I'm just, I'm glad that you all were here and this, this helps. Remember that, you know, as you begin to release fear from your system, um, however you can, you want to soothe it first. Again, you don't want to attack fear. You want to just love yourself through the fear. Love yourself through the fear and allow it to um, dissipate so that you can remember the truth. And the more we do that, the more we'll actually heal the planet. We are all in this together now, right? This is a beautiful teacher. This, this pandemic is a beautiful teacher and how we are all connected. <laughs> <laughs> how we are literally all connected and what's one, what happens to one ha is happening to all of us. Um, so if you do this, if you shift your energy um, to a higher level, you know, if you release the fear, because that's really what healing is about. It's releasing all fear and shame from your energy field. If you release shame and fear from your energy, your energy field, you are releasing it from the energy field of the collective. And if we all do this, we will have such a massive quantum shift on the planet. It will almost be unrecognizable. This has been done for centuries. This has been done in all different regions of the world, in different places. Um, there have been people who have gotten together in war-torn countries and just literally a mass amount have gotten together and meditated and like just raise their vibration and that war and that and the, and the incidents of death and war has gone down dramatically in those countries this is literally you can google this this has literally been done across the world so if more of us get together and we do these types of things and we really heal our, heal our, heal our fear and raise our vibrations we are literally affecting the planet in a positive way we are literally affecting the well-being of the planet and the health of the planet while we're affecting our own health positively and affecting our own well-being positively. So um, some of you are saying, you know, this was wonderful. Oh, thank you. My voice in the bowls were music. Um, many of you are saying you love the bowls. By the way, um, I got um, one of these bowls. I can't remember where I got the other one, but this bowl right here I got from Shanti Bowl. Uh, they're a company called Shanti Bowl. I really like them, you guys, and I really like this bowl. This is the one that it made this sound. Okay. It has a very resonant and, and very strong vibration. So if you want some, to, um, and it was, it really was, a, it was a great prize. It wasn't um, expensive at all. So. Um, if you want a good bowl to start with, if you all don't have one, or if you just want a smaller one to add to your collection, I highly recommend checking out Shanti Bowl. Tell them I sent you. Um, but yeah, this is that bowl is awesome. I love that bowl. It's a high quality. And then my other bowl looks like this. And I can't remember where I got this one from. <laughs> but you can um, hear this one. It's, it's a higher frequency sound. But yeah, so these bowls help raise your frequencies. Um, yeah, it's, it's Cheryl saying, thank you for reminding us to acknowledge fear is present and night to fight it. Rather look at it as an invitation to release that feeling of fear. It's, you know, this is something that, again, you're, you're always, fear is going to stay with you throughout your, your human experience. You're just not going to be fearful meaning you're not going to be full of fear, and it's, fear's not going to stay. It's going to be something that may show up every once in a while and then pass through you. Because one, you'll know the truth. Two, um, you won't be fighting it. You know, anything we resist, this is spiritual law. Anything we resist must persist, and it must grow, because you're feeding it at your energy. Anything you focus on and you fight, you feed. And so if you do that with fear, you're, you're feeding it. Also, if you do that with fear, it has to stay. <laughs> it has to be there. So one thing to do with fear is, one, you don't feed it. And then, two, you don't fight it. You know, it's like, and, and, and I want to share this before we, before we end this. Um, oh, somebody's saying they felt the vibrations in their leg down to their chest and toes. Wonderful. This is the beautiful thing with adding sound um, into, your, into your practices and into your healing. It actually is a vibration. And if you add the right frequencies of sound, you will feel them moving things in your body. Um, but one thing about fear to understand is uh, fear is like a shadow. So if you think of the love energy, which is your soul energy, which is God energy, if you think of God energy as the light, fear is the shadow. 
and it's just the thing that's blocking the light. It doesn't have a source by itself. There's no source of it, right? Just like there's no source of shadow. I can't turn on a light switch in here and make it dark in here. What I do is I turn on the I turn down the switch that puts a resistor on the light. And when I stop resisting the light, the light comes on. And how do I dissipate shadow? I shine light in that area. I shine more light in the area where the shadow is and the shadow will disappear, right? The darkness will dissipate. Let's, let's call it the darkness. The darkness disappears when I shine light there, but it has no source by itself. It's just something is in the way of the light. The same thing happens with fear. Fear is a, the thought system we're having or something that is in the way of the truth of love, the truth of light, right, which is our soul's energy. What do we do to dissipate it? We don't fight it, right? You don't go and box the darkness. <laughs> you don't wage a war on the darkness. What you do is you shine more of the light in the darkness. So in order to heal your fear, when you have to soothe yourself, and then you have to shine more of the truth. You have to shine more of the truth of love in that area where the fear is. This is it. It's only the absence of light. That's all it is. It's only the absence of love. <laughs> That's all it is. So pour more love in that area. This is why I'm saying this is an invitation to love yourself more. Love yourself more. This is an invitation for that. So that's all we have to do in this time right now. With this illness, with this with this illness that's spreading, shine more love on yourself. In the places where you're afraid, shine more love. In the places where you still have shame, shine more love. In the places you don't trust at all as well, shine more love. In the places where you're not enjoying your life and nourishing yourself. This is the perfect time, by the way. This is one of the great things about being um, in um, shelter in place is now you have no excuse to write that book, to start writing that book you wanted to write or to sing that song that you wanted to write or to, to really relook at your life and see what type of things you wanted to change. Maybe you wanted to um, end that relationship because you knew it wasn't serving you. Now's the time to do that. You know, this is all, this is giving you an opportunity to step more into love and to shine more of love, the light of love on your life. And this is how you do that. So, um, again, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. I hope this meditation has really served you. And I love you, love you, love you, love you deeply. Now, go love yourself. Bye.